What's up guys, this is Gesture of None. Today we're going to be making a wood grain texture. It's pretty simple, so um, it shouldn't take too long. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is take your paint bucket and fill your screen in with a brownish colour. It doesn't really matter what brown, choose it to yourself and uh, make sure it's one you like. And then you want to go to Effects, Noise, Add Noise and um, just play with the intensity until it's got a little bit of coverage. Like that looks good. You want to go on Effects, Blurs, Motion Blur and just blur it in the direction that you would like your grain to be going. I'm going to have a little bit of an angle up to the uh, the right hand side um, and then wait for this to render. If you're at the point where you'd like your grain to be a bit wider you can just go on layers, rotate zoom and just zoom in a little bit to make the grain a little bit larger. Um, about there is good for me. You can choose this yourself um, and it shouldn't make a huge difference to how it looks in the end apart from that if you want a zo more zoomed in picture of wood grain then um, just play with that until it's perfect. So I'm going to take a second to up the contrast a little bit just so that we can see the difference between the light and the shadow of the grain and that will be perfect and now you can see there's some dark lines some light lines the next thing you're going to do is go to distort and then dense and adjust the settings until your uh, lines are a little bit wavy there looks good it just gives it a little bit more of a natural look um, there's not many straight lines in nature so um, you shouldn't have them in your texture you can adjust this to get sort of any wood grain effect you want. This is a little bit too wavy for my taste, but it certainly does look like a wood grain. Um, we're going to put it back down a little bit. There looks fine. And you can also adjust the things like the roughness. Rough, a higher roughness will get you a little bit better quality looking image. Um, if you go too far, you will end up having cardboard, I guess. Um, but if you just keep it sort of level, you will end up with a, uh, a very nice looking wood grain texture um, and then for the final touches once this is rendered okay so now we've finished with the um, warping the wood grain to look a bit more natural um, there's a few other things you can do to make it look a little bit more detailed so you go to uh, distorts twist and you can just play with this twist setting and it will give you a little bit more of a realistic look now be careful because if you, if you can look at the left hand edges here if you end up too close, you can pull them out and they'll, they'll be going in the wrong direction as compared to the rest of your wood. Here on the, on the top left, this is um, not good enough and it doesn't look right. You have two options to deal with that really. You can make your wood grain bigger than you need and then cut that out later. Or you can keep moving the center to find a place where it's no longer, well, you're no longer having the problem. Um, also, if you put this in the center of your image, the effect won't be too bad. Like the, the changes to the rest of the grain will not be too bad. This looks like a nice position to leave it in. There we go. And we've got a nice swirl now we'd get wood grain. And that sort of stuff does happen. You can do that um, as many, many times as you want. If we Let's put another one in here. The more times you do this, um, the more twisted the grain will get. And the, the more detailed, but also you have a greater chance of making it a little bit off. Here we've got a nice swirl, a big long swirl in our wood grain. Make sure that your am amount's not set too high when you do this because you could end up with a... Um, with a bit of a mess like if this is up too high you just end up with a sort of a wood vortex um, and that's not really what you're looking for there you go um, don't be afraid to play around and experiment and um, change the settings up a little bit okay to add the final detail to this uh, wood texture you need to go to effects distort and then polar inversion you don't have to do this because actually you could leave it um, just as this is now and that looks pretty good but if you want to just add a bit more detail you can set polar inversion to go to a very low level. Here you can see I've got a minus 0.1 um, and that just creates, if you can see here, this little warping in the in the texture, in the grain and you can put that wherever you want and it'll look pretty good wherever you put it. Um, for example, if we put it here inside of our swirl or we can put it up on the left hand side. Yeah, I think that's a nice position and you can do this as many times as you want. Go to the store again, polar inversion and put it somewhere else. Probably don't put it on top of the uh, on top of the last one. But there we go. We've got another one on the right hand side there. So this is looking pretty good. This looks like a, a wood texture. You can also go to adjustments, brightness and contrast, and play with this until you have the kind of wood you're looking for. So we have like a more sandy wood, um, a much darker mahogany. Um, I don't know if these wood names are right. Um, and if you take it too high, obviously you get wood that's been bleached. Um, so you can adjust this as much as you want to get whatever kind of wood. I really like this sort of um, lighter colour, so we're going to leave it on there because it looks a bit more wood-like. Okay, thank you very much for your time. If you like this texture and you would like to see more, leave a comment letting me know what you'd like to see. And otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you next time. This has been Jester of None.
the most uh, upper class thing. Oh no, I couldn't imagine building my house without any, without any marble in it. Oh, what a terrible, perish the thought there, perish the thought. Um, this has been... Uh,